I'm so excited to share these three must-see, budget-friendly, and fun DIYs with y'all today, so let's just jump right into it. If we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa, and this is Our Gray House. Today's video is part of Sammy at Unicorn Dust Design's Try It Tuesday playlist. I'll have the links to her channel in the playlist below, so I hope you check it out. Now, if you aren't following Heidi Sambel, you are missing out. She has so many amazing craft ideas. And this first DIY is inspired from this one that she did last year, and I'll have a link to her video in my description box below. I'm taking one of the metal buckets with the jute twine at the top that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm painting it white. You really aren't going to see the bucket except for just like little parts that peek through so your paint job doesn't have to be like super perfect or anything. Unfortunately, the Dollar Tree carrots usually go pretty fast, so when I saw them in my store, I snagged several packages of them, probably like eight or nine, and this year they are a larger size. They work awesome for this project because they really fit the size of the container well. And I wish they would have sold the smaller ones as well because it would have been super cute to make a mini version of it like I did last year. So Dollar Tree, if you're listening, we want both sizes. Just saying. Now, to complete this project, all you have to do is hot glue these carrots to the container. This is so stinking easy. But since Dollar Tree carrots sell out quick, if you can't find any, no worries. You could use fabric carrots from Hobby Lobby, make your own fabric carrots, or maybe make them out of cardboard. Or if you can find the wooden carrots that are the ornament size, that would be super cute too. Just match the container to the size carrot you're using. And like I said earlier, as you are hot gluing the carrots on, you're covering up most of the container so the white is not really showing through at all. This is how it turned out. And y'all, this is super cute and super easy to make. Remember to tag Our Gray House if you try something similar. The next DIY is inspired from my friend Vanessa and her Etsy shop, Crafty Little Decor. She makes the cutest stuff, and when I saw her carrot garland, I knew I wanted to try it. This is a super budget-friendly craft. I'm using scrap cardboard that probably came from like an Amazon box or something, and I'm planning out the size of my rectangles. I don't want them to be too big, but fit the size of the carrot and I'm, that I'm using. And I probably should have just cut out a template instead of trying to measure and do the math and stuff because y'all know me in math. Then I just cut out the triangles, but I'm gonna be real with y'all. Despite having used a ruler on this part of the project, they still did not turn out perfectly uniform and that's okay. I did go ahead and punch holes in the top two corners so I could see how it would fit. And then I did use that triangle as a template, but they're still, <laughs> they're not perfectly uniform and that's okay. Now it's time to paint the carrots. The bottom part will be orange and the top part will be green, duh. <laughs> Although I guess you could paint the carrot whatever color combo you wanted. It's your garland, make them the color you want. I also have Captain's help for this project. He's always sitting close to his mama. If he's not on the table, he's like by my feet. I'm prepping my jute twine to string the garland and Captain is doing quality control inspections. The carrots are dry and the holes have been punched in the tops of all the carrot, uh, cardboard triangles. So now we just have to hot glue the carrots onto the triangles and then it will be time to assemble the garland. I have a bead garland that I found at Dollar Tree a long time ago and speaking of Dollar Tree, you know that this is a popular item. Can you bring it back and make sure it stays in stock? I mean, you know, not that they're going to listen to me, but I'm just saying. Now you have to determine your garland pattern. I'm starting off with two beads on the end, then a carrot triangle, a bead, a carrot triangle, a bead, a carrot triangle. You're, you get the idea. <laughs> you can use whatever size beads you want. Maybe you wanna do like a small one and a large one and a small one in between the carrot triangles, whatever suits your fancy really. And you can even paint the beads, it's totally up to you. That's what I love about these DIY projects. You can really customize them to fit your decor and your style. And this is so budget friendly to make. I already had the paint, hot glue, and cardboard. All I had to buy was the carrots. And I love how this looks. It is sweet and simple, but adds a cute touch in my kitchen.
Our last DIY for today comes from none other than the awesome Whiskey and Wit. I love her channel and this carrot sign was so cute, I knew I wanted to make one for myself. This one is another easy DIY. To start off, I'm using some orange paint for the bottom of the carrot. It's a large carrot that I found at Dollar Tree. You're also going to need two of the smaller ornament size carrots, also from Dollar Tree. I'm painting the base of it orange as well, and you will see more carrots in this footage. I'm actually making two sides, but for this project, you just need one large carrot and two smaller carrots. I'm painting the top part green, and you will paint both the large and the two smaller carrots the same. Again, if you have another color scheme in mind, you can certainly go with that. I think it'd be really cool to see what other colors y'all come up with. Now to add some fun to the sign, I took the orange that I used for the base and added some white into it to make a lighter color. You can do that or you can just use another color paint. I'm using a sponge dauber brush type thing to add the polka dots. And in Whitney's video, she traced them on and then painted them in. And that of course works as well too. I'm trying to place them randomly, some kind of like halfway so it doesn't look too uniform, you know? You will of course do the same to the smaller carrot. I did use two smaller size sponge brushes. I think I got them from Hobby Lobby, but maybe, maybe it's Dollar Tree, I don't know. You could totally trace on a circle or freehanded. I just happen to have these brushes. So also, when I do polka dots, I really struggle making them look like random, like, and not like they're, I don't know, they're not uniform, you know what I mean? For this part, you're gonna take a paint pen or a white paint, um, some white paint and a small detail brush and kind of go around the circles. You can go all the way around or part way or a combination. This is, part is really just adding some whimsy to the project and don't try to make them look perfect. Just let them be like fun carrots, if carrots can be fun. Same thing for this part. You're gonna take a black paint pen and go around the entire carrot and outline it again. Not looking for perfection, just kind of freehanding it. And at the top, take the white and black paint pen and add some squiggly lines to give it some dimension. I also added some slashes to the sides of the carrot, mostly because that's what Whitney did in her project. I did use my Cricut for this and there's a free cut file over on Whitney's blog so be sure and check that out. If y'all don't have one, you can print out her cut file and use that to trace this or better yet, make your own design. Maybe just put welcome on it or like your initial or something. I promise, it'll look cute whatever you do. And now I'm placing, I, when I'm placing this, I kind of should have thought about the size of the decal where it was going because it's a little hard to see the exclamation point at the end, but it turns out fine. Now I just attached those little carrots to the big carrot with some hot glue and I placed them pretty much how Whitney did. The final step is to attach some jute twine to the big carrot so you can hang it. And this turned out so super cute and looks great on my front door. If your Dollar Tree doesn't have these pieces, you can always create them out of cardboard. So thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure and check out the playlist and all the videos I linked below. And I hope you have fun creating something awesome today. Don't forget, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye!